In this video, we will be starting about the concept of classification. See, let's suppose you have collect, you have two hundred families in your locality, right? And you have collect, you have collected information regarding their income expenditure education religion size of family etc you have collected the data but this data is uh, very raw it will be of little use to your, uh, you right until and unless you do not know how many families are educated or uneducated, how many families income is above rupees 20,000 per month and below rupees 20,000 per month. Right? What is the religion? The number of uh, family members are the two, four, six, ten. So, in order to make the raw data meaningful, you have to classify on the basis of their different characteristics, such as educated or uneducated family, like rich family or poor family. So in this way you require a classification of data now what is class each such division of data is called class right it means you're educated and educated these are the classes now what is classification Classification is the process of arranging things in groups or classes. Classification is the process of arranging this is a things in groups or classes according to their resemblance and affinities and given expression to the unity of attributes that may exist amongst a diversity of individuals. Which means that you are arranging the data into the group or classes according to their resemblance of affinities. I mean like their resemblance of educated or uneducated in the education or uneducated in the education sector, uh, you know, variable. And give an expression to the unity of attributes that may exist among a variety of individuals. In this data divided into different groups, data are grouped or classified on the basis of their class similarities. Now what are the objectives of classifications? Why do we need to classify? What are the objectives behind it? 
we need to simplify the data so simplifications and briefness so you need to simplify the data second is your utility classification enhance utility of the data that you that the data gives you more satisfaction and the data can derive the good result when you classify it distinctive the data can be differentiated if you classify the obvious differences among the data can be observed fourth is your comparability it makes data comparable and estimative fifth is your scientific arrangement in order to do some statistical method on the data in order to derive the result so the classification facilitates some arrangements of data in a scientific manner which increases the reliability and you can apply some statistical tools on it attractive and effective the data becomes more attractive and it becomes more effective to get some results out of it what should be the characteristics of the good classification number 1 is your comprehensiveness each item of the data collected should be included in some group it should not be left out it should have some class second is your clarity the classification of data must be very clear so the raw data when classified into the classes should be absolutely clear and simple homogeneity the class should be homogeneous it should include all, all the homogeneous items or the similar items suitability the data collected and classified accordingly should be suitable enough to draw some results out of it stability a particular kind of investigation should be based on the same set of classification this base should not be changed with each investigation so it should be a stable elastic elastic means your data should be elastic there should be scope for the change in the classification matching with the change in the purpose or objective of our study if we have changed the objective of our study the data we have collected should be flexible enough to get into that particular class so with this we understand the concept of classification i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us